parent thinks their child is a talented artist, proudly hanging their latest creation on the fridge, but a young girl from West Michigan is really making her mark on the local art scene with her very own show. News Channel 3's Erin Dimmick joins us now with her story. Erin. Marcy, at just five years old, Lillian has a talent for painting that is wise beyond her years. She gave me a behind-the-scenes look at how she creates these very special works of art. They're beautiful paintings created in the style of abstract expressionism. Who's behind the canvas? It's Lillian Davidson, a little girl who paints to the beat of her own brush. When she's not taking on kindergarten, the five-year-old from Battle Creek likes to paint away, listening to Taylor Swift. I want to paint flowers and forests and butterflies. Her mom says Lillian started painting like this when she was just two years old. And I think that's beyond years for, for children her age to be able to paint like that. Cassie Davidson recently showed her daughter's work to the owner of the Brownstone Coffee House in downtown Battle Creek. Seeing her immense talent, he booked her for a long-term display that debuted last week. She was really excited. She thought she was having an art party. We got a lot of good feedback from everybody. Just real excited and encouraging to, for her to keep painting. So where do you get your ideas from? Uh... They just kind of come to your head? She says her latest creation features mermaids hanging up decorations. I think right now, because she's so young, there's there's no fear. And I think with a lot of artists, as they get older, they have, you know, a fear to put the paintbrush to the canvas. She doesn't have that fear. It's just she paints what she feels, and that's what makes it so great. Lillian's parents want her to keep painting as long as she still has a passion for it. But it doesn't look like she's hanging up her art smock anytime soon. Excellent. It's going to be Taylor Swift and Bruiser, my dog. I'm really excited for that next painting. Lillian's art show continues at the Brownstone Coffee House until the end of October. Reporting live in the studio, Aaron Dimmick, News Channel 3. Way to go, Lillian. How